In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Math Test 9, Section 4, Calculator Permitted. We're now on questions 18 through 20, and all three of these questions relate to the following information. Jennifer bought a box of crunchy grain cereal. The nutrition facts of the box state that a serving size of the cereal is three quarters of a cup and provides 210 calories, 50 of which are calories from fat. In addition, each serving of the cereal provides 180 milligrams of potassium, which is 5% of the daily allowance for adults. So the first question, 18, if P percent of adults daily allowance of potassium is provided by X serving of crunchy grain cereal per day, which of the following expresses P in terms of X? And so here we're told that 5% is one, it's 5% of the daily allowance, it's one serving. And we wanna express whatever that percent would be of the adult's daily allowance based on the number of servings. And you really wanna be careful here because 5%, this really reads as five, it's not, 0.05, right? So which one would express the percent as a number, as a percent based on the number of servings? And so you can see here, the answer is B, right? Whatever, let's say a person had three bowls, that'd be 15%, and that would be 15, that would be the percent, equals 5% times the number of servings, right? So just be careful, um, just think about, it. you're really substituting the number, the actual percent, not in decimal form. All right, let's take a look at question 19. On Tuesday, Jennifer will mix crunchy grain cereal with super grain cereal for her breakfast. Super grain provide cereal provides 240 calories per cup. If the total number of calories in one cup of Jennifer's mixture is 270, how much super grain cereal is in one cup of the mixture? And so instead of just eating the crunchy grain that we saw here, she's now mixing it with super grain. And super grain is 240 calories per cup, and we want to know one cup. So the first step is you really want to pay attention because crunchy grain, the serving is not a cup. Crunchy grain serving is three quarters. So you first have to get the number of calories based on a full cup. And so you would just multiply that by four thirds, right? So we'll just do that. So four divided by three, and then I'm multiplying that by 210. So this is the number of calories, 280, that crunchy grain, I'll just call it C, has per cup. Remember, Jennifer is eating a full cup, but she's also mixing it with super, and super is given as a cup, so that's 240. So she's just mixing one cup with 240 and 280, but we're told that the total mixture is 270. We want to know how much of the super grain. I mean, I'll show you how to do this academically, but there's really a shortcut here. If you could recognize that these are 40 apart, right? So we know that the crunchy grain has more calories. And the mixture, when we add them together, is 270, which is a lot closer to the crunchy than the super. So it's not evenly split. There's four really like intervals of 10, if you think about it. There's 50, 60, 70, 80. And this is three of the intervals. So. I don't know if you can you can figure that out. I was able to, to look at this and say it must be a, a quarter, right? Because, because it's weighted so close, it's weighted three-fourths of the way. But even if you didn't do it, I'm just gonna show you the academic way. And um, so let's think about, this is really like a system of equation. We've got some amount of super plus some amount of crunchy equals one. That's a cup. And then we want an equation for the number of calories per cup based on the cereal. So we know that the super has 240S plus the crunchy, which has 280C. And when we add this together, we get one cup that is 270. So this is really a system of equations. The question is asking how much of the super, so we're solving We've seen these before, we're really solving in terms of S. So we're gonna take this equation up here and we're gonna express C in terms of S to your substitution. So C equals one minus S. And so I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna plug it in down here. So I have 240S plus 280 and now I'm gonna plug this in for the C, one minus S equals 270. And so this is going to be 280 minus 280s. And this was 240s. 
equals 270. So again, just have to be careful with your arithmetic here. And so if I add this, this is going to be negative 40, but I'll bring it to the right side. So it's going to be positive 40 s. And then the last step is 270, subtract that from both sides, and I get 10. And so we get s equals 10 over 40, which is 1 fourth. And again, like I said, if you were able to recognize that early on, you could have saved a little bit of time, I think. I'm gonna, there's just one more question on the next page. I'm gonna do this in this, in this video because it relates to this information. So let's just number 20 as well. Which of the following could be the graph of the number of calories from fat in crunchy grain cereals, a function is the, of the number of three quarter cups per serving. Okay, so number, we're just talking about the total number of calories from fat and crunchy grain as a function as a, of the number of cups. I mean, before you even go back to the information, we know that if you have zero cups, you're gonna have zero calories from fat, it'll be zero calories. But as it increases, the number of three quarter cups, you're definitely gonna increase the number of fat. You don't really even have to go back to the information. We know this is an upward, sloping line and it's also going to go through the vertex right it's going to go through zero zero because if, if a person does not eat any cups there's not going to be any fat and so you don't really have to pay attention to like you know the actual line and and obviously it's not downward and it's not it's not no change so for example if you're not sure like which line this is you don't have to pay attention to the slope just pay attention to the starting point and this one because it comes to the vertex, that's why it's the answer. So that one wasn't too bad. The answer is A.